in the same uh, window also in the same uh, same frame same window how it is difficult to find out the highest revenue customer you have to match everything right from one from top yeah. to bottom right but yeah. the thing is if you represent it in visually attractive format it will be more easier for you or even a layman to find it very easily yes, that yes this is the highest revenue customer how do you do it this chart is called highlighting it okay. i love to highlight it let's see first of all i would like to see the highest stock product again in that case if you find this as a highest stock now if you go up this you yeah, find again this is as a highest stock this is also second highest so you have to match every text with every other now if you just do like this drop down apply threshold okay threshold is a color highlighting effect okay so you would have color range from yellow to orange apply threshold okay now what is the highest color what is the highest uh, uh, t not fine stock very easily your eyes going to this two right yeah okay. but if it just not it just clear the threshold you have to again you have to find out manually one by one right yeah so it's very easy if you go for apply a visual representations you can apply threshold like this you can also make it in a different color say lower threshold low, lower uh, volume of data will have yellow color and highest volume of data would have a red color and rest of other intermediate data would have the intermediate color from yellow dark yellow to orange to red okay okay and if you want to make the color uh, highlighting also in different ways different colors so instead of orange and and also if you want to uh, make the quantity whichever is the highest quantity is showing in red i don't want so i want in my stock if the quantity is becoming less it would be highlighted in red okay if the quantity is uh, uh, is enough in my stock it would be in green okay then in that case i'll have a red yellow green or maybe uh yes red yellow green then i will just bring it to the quantity if say i, I can define if the quantity is uh, 70% and enough more than 70% then yes i am assured that yes i have enough stock okay okay i can just drag this uh, threshold like this and if my quantity is going below say 10% it would be showing red or if it's going below 20% from the out total quantity it will be red and rest of other quantity is is very stable okay in that case i can apply okay apply it will show you the color in a red a green and yellow and uh, green means i have enough quantity red means less you can make it reverse the higher quantity can also be red and lower quantity can be green see become the higher quantity which is 305 and all and become red and lower quantity is become green okay. you can make it reverse also stock is becoming less no. with your quantity will becoming the red okay. so very easily from a dashboard being a you know entrepreneur you can take the decision are you able to take the same decision with this rows with this columns yeah no no i mean this is very useful to take the decision that yes my quantity is going below 20% is for immediately purchase this stock product okay or procure this product and are you able to take the same kind of decision on top of this columns yeah you can you can take but it will be difficult for you difficult yeah and looking the simple 
like uh, you know simple text but if you highlight it in this colors in visually attractive format immediately your eye is going to the all red colors right those red color quantities are there i'll have to make them green or yellow by procuring both products right accordingly selling price i'll make the selling price uh, say threshold i'll apply the threshold let's make it this Now this. So he has become my quantity. He has become my quantity means I have to maintain always the stock with me. So red, green, yellow is okay for me. And the purchase price is okay. Selling price is okay. I can count the yes. These are the purchase price. These are the highest purchase price and these are the lowest purchase price. Now from these reports and revenue, I want my revenue is growing or getting down or it is in in neutral condition. in that case i cannot just show like this i have to show the arrows just like you know share market if the revenue is going up you should have a up arrow green color if this revenue is going down it should go down or in red color okay and if it's going stimulating it should be in yellow color so i have another threshold also apply the threshold just change the color based on image based So if it is red color, it is going down to say 20 percent revenue. Then you can make it arrow down. If it is this, then if it is going up, say if it is 60 percent and plus, then it is good. Okay. Apply. How does this look? It's good. Looking good, and this analytics also. Is this a can you repeat again? Which one? This one? Yeah, the uh, green. Okay. Just select this uh, column. Okay. Yes, sir. Go to threshold. Instead of color base, initially it would be in color base. You can change it to image base. Okay, got it, sir. Thank you. Okay. And you can change your range on which range you want to show the red or green or yellow. Okay, apply. Sure. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So you are uh, keeping like a sixty percent, seventy percent, right? Yeah, I'm making this green color yeah. as sixty percent. Sixty percent. Yeah. How can you like? How can we know that uh, it it will be like we can make sixty percent, or simply we have to analyze? No, you have to simply analyze, or that's up to the business requirement. Okay. Okay. So say okay. your business will okay. tell that so this down arrow as uh, if it is going below 10 percent, you have to offset here. And also, they okay. if they want not to show the arrow, but to show some other icons. Okay. Then you can just apply it and come down here. Instead of this, uh, you know, um, arrows, just click on this arrow. And change the image. How can you change the image? You will put some images here in the source folder. Say I will. The source folder. Yeah. I told you in the first session what is the use of these folders, right? First, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll Google it out. I'll have some better, uh, you know, icons. Say, uh, arrow. Search tool. Have some size icons. Exactly, you have to define. Say sixteen by sixteen. So you'll get a more good icon. 
this is up another should be down so anything we can choose from here and uh, can put it here Say if it is reverse, if it is in loss, then I want to show this. I want to show this icon. So, so maybe if it is in progress, I will show this icon. It's going well. Obviously, I will show this icon. There you go. Never save anywhere else. Okay. Okay. Save it in your source folder. Save progress. Okay. Now this path I can copy. Just copy this path. Put another slash, and you get this entire link of this image. Okay. Copy this. Everybody following? Am I not going faster? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm fine. No, sir. It's okay. Okay? Okay. So, select this and go here. If you want to change the progress instead of, uh, uh, you know, green, you want to make the progress as, say, the green, I will make it. Green, select it, put it here. Yeah. It's the green, just uh, click. click the image and put the image path right here. Okay? Okay. And, okay. Here we got the new image. How beautiful it is. Interesting? It's looking more beautiful. And it's got a red color also. Now it's progressing. You can see it's progressing. Or any other color. If it's going down, then you can have some. Now this report will, more, will look more good because it's blue effect and uh, now for loss just copy slash Okay. Now, we need to copy this part and 
ADA GOALNYA